Hello, everybody. Welcome to Big Brain. Yeah. It, large. Cranium. Yep. My brain is so big, my head is just going to pop. So I, I'm going to be honest. I don't know why you guys recommended this movie. I like this movie a lot. Yeah, I do too. It's such a good movie. I have a feeling it's because there's a lot of memes that have come out of this movie. The fart one. I've seen that about 107,000 times. <laughs> there's so many good jokes that came out of this movie. It's such a good movie. Well, before we get into this video, make sure that if you like it, you lick it. Don't forget to hit that super-sized brain button. I mean, that means subscribe. But first, the YouTuber was too stunned to speak. January AdSense had hit rock bottom. No uploads in over two weeks. Career in shambles. I couldn't even afford the royalty-free stock footage of the streets I was left on. Vine boom sound effect. But before the bank had a chance to repossess my sponsor shades, I spun the wheel of sponsors for one last chance to continue making videos. Holy crap, Lois, it's Raid Shadow Legends. That's right, guys, it's the free fantasy RPG for mobile and PC with over 600 champions, 14 factions, and a game mode to suit any play style. Use our links to download and start playing the game today with some awesome brand new additions like the Hydra. The Hydra is an insane new clan boss. It has multiple heads, each with their own abilities, and you're going to have to figure out how to take it down. It can reflect damage back onto your team, melt your champions from the inside, and then just go hide in a cloud of poisonous smoke. It's insane. It's like a huge puzzle, and I've been trying to figure out the best strategy to take it down, but I just haven't quite got it yet. But once you take out the Hydra, you get some of the best artifacts and rewards that Raid has to offer, so it's totally worth it. Raid is always adding a ton of new stuff to the game, which I really like because it keeps the game fresh. And currently, anybody can unlock a brand new champion that some of you gamers out there might be able to recognize. It's esports legend and Navi superstar Simple. He has a limited edition champion in-game that's free to new and old players. Just log in for 7 days between now and January 28th and he's yours. This champion is awesome, so don't wait around because after that date, he'll be gone forever. Folks, you already know it. There's never been a better time to get started in Raid. Use our link in the description or scan this QR code to get some free resources and a free mystery champion to give you a head start in raid. Guys, they won't tell me who the mystery champion is, so once you get in game, find your rewards right here and then let me know who the mystery champion is because I've been asking for weeks and they won't tell me. These rewards are only available for 30 days, so download raid using our links to support the channel and get some free stuff. Thank you to raid for sponsoring this video. Add over. Korea, dream, or dream, or dream, works. dream. Anime sense, good Wait, that's not the sun. Now it is. <laughs> My end starts at the beginning. The very beginning. You might be wondering how'd I get in this position? Yeah, that's me. That's me right there. It all started back in middle school. Well, I think everything wrong with me started in middle school. Literally broken. Oh, the panic. My God, is this planet getting like gassed or glassed? Is like, it's going to be turned into glass. Actually, it's going to be a giant marble. Yeah, actually, it's going to go into a black hole. So this is a lot like Man of Steel, but a lot better. Which sure is saying something. Here is your minion. Oh, I love minion. If we say minions, we're going to get despicable me in our recommendations for the next year. You could pay me $10 billion and I wouldn't review that. Hey, sponsors. Uh... Raid 10K and we'll watch minions for you. <laughs> Why is he not seatbelted in? No, not at all. That is me as a baby, I swear. I'm gonna be honest with you. You are... Metro Man? Metro Man. Yeah, you are Metro Man. Well, that's unfortunate because Metro Man sucks. You're right. I mean, he, he doesn't suck. Every single time Metro Man speaks until like the end of the movie, I want to like punch him in the face. Okay, then he he's Metro Man like later. Post-beard era. But I had something far, far greater. My amazing intellect. Boss baby. I will... No. Turn off this movie. I'm gonna be honest, I hated Boss Boss Baby. Oh, it was so bad. Who liked Boss Baby? How is that like a hot take that you're having? I know people who like Boss Baby. Trust me. <laughs> I watched that movie and every joke was like, whoa, it's a baby who's smart. What? Oh my God. <laughs> it's just a mid movie. Like it's not bad to the point where I'm like, I want to shut this off. It's more of like, why? It's just Toy Story with babies and it's not funny. Don't ask us to do that. I was given an opportunity to better myself through learning at a strange place called Chew. Just a school right next to a, like a maximum security prison. Little gifted school for little gifted kids. Yeah, that's my rapper name is Little Gifted. Ren, hit us with some bars. Uh, I don't have any in here. 
<laughs> Fresh out of bars. So I like how because he crashed in prison, they just decided to put him under custody, even though that's really expensive for the prison. He also just has no records. Why don't we put it for adoption or find something? No prison. How does he get parole and what are his charges? He doesn't. And yes, <laughs> yeah, he's charged for existing. Me too. While they were learning the itsy bitsy spider, I learned how to dehydrate animate objects and rehydrate them at will. I studied the blade. This is this plot exposition thing in every movie where it's like, while others were doing one thing, I was doing something slightly different in the corner. They'll see. I'll teach them. I'll be able to fight just as well as them when it's convenient for the plot. <laughs> Destined to be rivals. Why are you taking the school? <laughs> He's like, you know what? You're going to prison. I'm going to steal this school. I'm going to hold a bunch of children hostage in this red building. He's going to put them in low orbit. <laughs> wow. Okay. The stuff they make you read on air, that's unfreaking believable. It's crazy. I wrote that piece myself, Hal. I hate this guy. Everyone does. Well, yeah, he's the villain. That's the whole point. I mean, yeah, but uh, I'll give them this. They didn't do that movie city thing where there's like four identical skyscrapers in the background. <laughs> it's a pretty well-made city. It does kind of look like GTA five on the PS3 though. No, I'll tell you what it looks like is Liberty City. Yeah, it do look like Liberty City a lot. <laughs> Is that watch a transformer? Yes. yes. No. Yeah, it scanned him and then transformed. Kind of genius, though. Get in the car, you. <laughs> nice work sending me the watch, minion. So do the cameras outside prisons and movies not notice when stuff like this happens? Nope, not at all. They always do this thing with the invisible car or the transformers watch. <laughs> Immediately after someone like turns their back and walks away two inches, they revert back to being like normal. <laughs> all right, put your hands in the air. Who's your man? I don't have this much confidence. You wouldn't be Metro Man. I would just make my name Man. <laughs> Who are we gonna call? I'm being robbed. Uh, man. It's just a dude in like jeans that can fly for no reason. Who would I be? without you. Still, Metro Man. I feel like Metro Man is gonna sell me a course on how to be like an alpha man. <laughs> you call this predictable? You're alligators, yes. She just knows all of his tropes <laughs> by now. I genuinely really like this. They're just exploring how stupid the mustache twirling villain is. It's true. There's a point where you've done everything you're gonna do. <laughs> Oh, God, it's this vape cloud. Sick cloud, bro. It's all the 5G. That's what 5G actually looks like, guys, is that dark cloud. If you put on your 3D glasses, you can see it. Don't believe me? Go hold an umbrella in the rain. Wow. Mega mind. Oh, bravo. I have to talk in here to... Megamind. <laughs> I love how Megamind puts on like a concert every single time he appears. It's like a WWE fight. Honestly. We're at the abandoned observatory. Aha! You didn't think you were in the real observatory. Why is it so close to the actual observatory is my question. <laughs> like it's right there. I have an even better question for you. How come the outside of that is made of wood and like clapped together boards, but the inside is metal? He just threw it together over a weekend. <laughs> yeah, that was a really big Home Depot haul he had. Ready the Death Ray menu. You just own a satellite? Yep. How many regulations? Do, are you Elon Musk? This is what Elon Musk is going to turn into in like 30 years. Him and Jeff Bezos are going to show down in the city. <laughs> this dome is obviously lined with copper. Copper drains my powers. W the, wouldn't like everything around you drain you then? He like walks past like a computer and just dies. A man is built for the Stone Age apparently. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that that was the thing is that he like kills Metro Man and that's how it sets up the movie and then he becomes like the president for some reason. It's like, <laughs> wow, I killed someone, now I'm the president. Yeah, I own this city now that the person who lives in this city is dead. Apparently the United States in this universe is like trial by combat. It's like Black Panther, you have to kill whoever is in charge. <laughs> you did it, sir. I did it. You did it, Jude. I did it. You did it. Did I? Yep. You did it. It happened. You did it. Wow. What did I do? It. Okay. The most horrible, evil thing you can possibly think of. And multiply it by six. Oh my God. What is the most evil, horrifying thing you can think of? Um. He, he's gonna, uh, he's, uh, he's gonna like, and then he's gonna, um. <laughs> God, I hate it when that happens. Look at the intricate mood. Seal of the city and, hold on, what did that say? Seal of the city and the county of Metro City. What, the, the county is named Metro City? It's Metro City County. This entire place is like on a weird island in the middle of nowhere. It's a GTA map. That's what we've been saying. It's just like a little highland 
hidden under the A in Atlantic. What state is this in? It's an uh, island in the middle of nowhere. Since it's got a county? What state is this in? I don't think it's the United States. I feel like it's the United States. Well, yeah, that's because every movie ever is the United States. <laughs> Everything I want! I love the soundtrack in this that we can't talk about in the video. I mean, we could talk about it. We just can't play it. It's all dad rock. That's what it is. I know. I love the soundtrack in this. Why is there a car upright in that? Is that the Ark of the Covenant? Bro. They've been looking for that for a little while, so I'm glad he has it. It was just in the city somewhere. Yeah. This is the promised land, actually. I have just one question for Megamind. Are you happy now? No. Now, what I am curious about is why he allows freedom of press and all this stuff. He's not really evil, if you didn't notice yet. But he's just kind of there. He just wanted to fight Metro Man. Wrap that up and give it to a child on Christmas. Maybe don't. Can't wait to get him news broadcast under the tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a really sad one, too. I hope I got an Xbox and it's just, we're a city without a hero. Your favorite superhero just got killed and we're living under a dictator. So many evil plans in the works. The illiteracy beam. The what? Like, fire it at someone and they're like, hold on. Let me write a YouTube comment. <laughs> Oh, if only the world had a reset button. It's called nuclear holocaust. I'm banking on it. <laughs> Sell your stocks today, guys. Get my uh, my survival kit, my apocalypse survival kit. Link in the description. It's got like a box cutter and some duct tape. A single block of mild cheddar cheese. It's in a camo bag. It's so the nukes can't see you. We must find a suitable subject. Not that ringtone, no. <laughs> the Verizon ringtone? Yep. That's what my ringtone is on my phone. My ringtone when I was like eight was the whistling Verizon ringtone, which was the... <laughs> and I would just get calls in public and have the most embarrassed I want to die energy because a man's whistling in my pocket. It was the worst. Why didn't you just change it? I forgot to on this specific memory I'm speaking of. <laughs> it's time we stood up to Megamind and show him he can't push us around. Oh. Did she not see on the news that that building like exploded? Wouldn't that be a big deal? No, she is the news, so she missed it. Wait, so since she is the news, wouldn't somebody report that? No, she's the only source of news. Oh, no one else pays attention. She's the only source of things happening. Yep. Awesome. How did you find his hideout? This is the only building in Metro City with a fake observatory on the roof. Did he not <laughs> tear that down after he was done? Oh. Also, why does he need a hideout if he's in charge of everything? Also, why is there just a crushed car? You know, he has a thing for just breaking cars and it's amazing. That's fair. <laughs> Roxanne? Oh, no, not again. Did you not watch her walk through that wall? He was looking at his camera monitor, so he must have missed it. Yeah, it doesn't show up on the camera monitor. Stupid things don't show up on cameras. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, no. Roxanne? Oh, this is his villain origin story. Heck yeah. It's Hal, which is the worst name for anyone ever. Is his name actually Hal? Yeah, H-A-L. Who names the kid? Like, ew. This just sounds like what you name a computer. Potter couldn't ask for finer clay. <laughs> like, I was just upside down in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, yeah. I guess. Yeah, those beds don't just spring up into the wall like that. I'm going to do another one of these bits. As a kid, I was scared of the idea of beds like that because I thought they would spring back into the wall and trap me in there. <laughs> I thought I would just get stuck in this wall. Death by fold-out bed. <laughs> oh, that was such a funny story. Hold on. That sign behind them. Read words, kids. Th thanks. I will. No, not books. Words. Just the words. <laughs> yeah, don't read the book. Just read the words inside of the book. It stretches. It's for you. What's a T stand for? <laughs> Uh, T stands for three. Just the number three? No, it's, um, you know the movie Ocean's Eleven? That's like the name of the main character in Ocean's Eleven. His name is Ocean's, not Eleven. No, his name is Ocean's Eleven, and this is the prequel to that. Ocean's Eleven Men, that's the... No, 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 his name is Ocean's Eleven, and this is just before that. <laughs> Churros. I do. I do oh. yeah. Please show him eating the churro. I want to know how he eats that churro. Movie, don't pan away. I want to see. It's not going to show you. I wanted to see how he eats freaking churro. You don't get to see. I wanted to know. Okay, okay. I just have to take a step back. Literally steps back. <laughs> so funny. It's not funny when you point it out. It's supposed to be just like a little. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I want to make fun of this movie for having little details because what else am I making fun of? Yeah, this movie has really good comedy and it pays attention to the little details and everything. Stupid. There's like a dynamic story where people have different motives. Oh my God. I don't. Whoa. I, I hate this. <laughs> God, give me back. <laughs> 
for every other movie we've ever covered, like bulk. Oh, God. Titan. Your very own heroic guardian of pure awesome. What's your name? Just kidding. I know everything about you. Okay, so this is the dude that's going to sell the alpha male course. Yep. This has like that I'm a true gentleman vibe about it. Like everything about him. You haven't been treated real, ladies. Oh, wait, is he the alpha male or is he the um, incel? He's an incel that happened to get muscles. And that's the worst thing that can happen to an incel. <laughs> he's outgrown his fedora. <laughs> Who are you? Really? Couldn't tell by the really ugly face and hair and voice. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't hear the Jonah Hill voice. <laughs> oh my God, are you Jonah Hill? <laughs> to be fair, she was being thrown around a skyscraper by a much taller, much buffer man than Hal. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> to Bernard for being the only normal thing in my upside down world. <laughs> it's funny because he's, he's not normal. He's like an alien with blue skin and she's going to find that out and it's going to be bad. Say I wasn't so normal. Say I wasn't normal. Say I was a little bit like the Joker from the movie Joker. Oh my God. <laughs> As a non-specific example. Mm. Say that's what I was like. Would you still love me? Everyone is awful, Roxanne. People are awful. The world is angry. The world's as angry as it gets, Roxanne. Roxanne, I've killed people. So many people. Now, now hold on. You! He's not who she thought he was. Oh, it's sad, so it's going to rain. Yeah, it's raining because the sky called for it to be emotional right now. <laughs> Even though it was like perfectly clear. Tricking me? What could you possibly hope to gain? 12 dB. <laughs> what could you possibly hope to gain? <laughs> Oh, ad break. That was perfect. The fade out to black. Yep. That's what we do now. Also, I need to pee. Well, you better pee. I'm going to pee so hard. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to record on either a toilet or a bike, and neither of you will have any idea. Do it at the same time. A toilet bike. <laughs> Build a mech suit? Yes, he did. <laughs> Except he looks like Mr. Electric in it. What are you doing stopping my endless fun coaster and infiltrating my lair? Mr. Electric should be the next Avengers villain. I would watch that. <laughs> just sitting there. This is me whenever I think we're going to record and then we don't end up recording. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we're just sitting there for like two hours like... Okay. All right. Okay. You want to make weird noises into our Go XLRs for two hours? Yeah, let's go. And that's like how we get ready for a call. <laughs> oh, now that's the spirit. This is me in the Hulk video game when I would pick up a street light and smack people with it. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Walk sideways. That's how you avoid linear projectiles. No, this is like Indiana Jones, apparently, where they have no idea how to do that. It's a ball rolling towards them. It's instantly going to kill you no matter what. No, he wouldn't <laughs> want to walk out into traffic. That's why he didn't. Don't want to get hit by a car instead of a big copper ball. Titan's turned easier. He'll destroy the whole city. What is he doing out there? He's punching something really hard. Man's got like all the Grand Theft Auto cheats turned on and he's like <laughs> blowing everything up. Yeah, what's it like the explosive punch? And like the fast running and the super jump. So he's just running around <laughs> yeah. blowing everything up. They modded GTA so hard and then added the cinematic camera plug-in. <laughs> After all these years, my old shoe house. Why? This, is, is this how the uh, the dad's house from Willy Wonka got moved? Like Willy Wonka's dad is actually just Metro Man. Oh, really old. Yeah, he retired and became a dentist. And he settled down and had a son. And then he just moved his house again. Stupid. I hate it. You're right. Did you know? Okay, now that version of Metro Man might be me. It all started back at the observatory. I like how he's like, it all started exactly where you thought it did. Metro Man was finally dead. If there's bad, good will rise up against it. And so the moral of the story is that Megamind isn't actually a really bad guy, so he needs to learn to be a good guy to stop a worse guy or something. I wonder if there's ever been a neutral person in the history of film. No. no. You don't know me. You never took the time to know me. To be fair, dude, the entire time she was trying to be your friend, you were like, hey, do you want to marry me? Yeah. A little weird. It's because he's such an alpha. Can you be a Bravo male? Bravo male? <laughs> alpha Bravo Charlie Delta. Can I be a Foxtrot male? I want to be a Gamma man. I'll be waiting at Metro Tower. And just so you don't get cold feet. Well, how did he like broadcast that to television? To be fair, he was a television broadcaster. So I guess. How did the television broadcaster broadcast to television? Whoa. <laughs> By broadcasting to 
television. Oh my god, amazing revelation. Me when I'm broadcasting to television. Hey, Metro Losers. This is Metro Tower. Hey, Metro Losers. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Titan. Taking over the city. Yo, thanks for the super chat. What's that say? Oh, destroy Metro Tower. Sick, bro. I'll do it for $50. Yeah. <laughs> Dumbest thing ever. <laughs> there is no Easter Bunny. There is no Tooth Fairy. And there is no Queen of England. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you heard it from Megamind as well. I told you in the last video, British people aren't real. Yeah, it's true. And that includes <laughs> the Queen of England. Yeah, it's to influence you. How? That's his name. <laughs> Kinda. I said how. It was close enough. You're the punk I've heard about. <laughs> Every time. Having it be the normal sound was really weird when I rewatched it. Yeah. Going somewhere. So, um, how's he got all these powers? I'm sure Megamind could figure out a way to fly. Wait, so, mm, okay, okay, okay. But if he could do this earlier, why didn't he just become him earlier and just fight him? I think it's because he doesn't actually have any powers. We're about to see that he doesn't fight Titan at all. He just kind of tells him to screw off. But there's only one person I know who calls this town atrocity. You. This is a lot like Batman versus Superman from the movie Batman versus Superman. <laughs> I see your name! Save Martha! Such good writing. <laughs> Ow. I bet those spikes hurt. And she doesn't care. She fell off a canopy onto concrete, so, you know. All right. Put your hands in the air. Yeah, he takes over the city, but like, good, yeah. I, I don't have an issue with this. No, I have no problems with this movie at all. I have no major, like, this is my problem with the plot or whatever. Like, it was <laughs> good. It's genuinely a good movie. I know Jude said this earlier, but it was a weird movie for you to guys to have us cover. Yeah, because it was so good that we're just like, huh. Yeah, I'm curious to see how this turns out. Ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, there was almost nothing to make fun of because they made fun of themselves whenever something was stupid. And people will be like, cover the leg movie, which is the most self-aware movie I've ever seen. It really is. I will say the writing's pretty good because they were able to make a really self-aware movie without doing the stupid fourth wall break thing. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really curious why DreamWorks didn't capitalize on this, but then made nine Madagascar movies or whatever. <laughs> like, this is objectively better. I'm sorry. Yeah, it really is. Who are you apologizing to? Because I know someone in the comments is going to be like, Oh, um, actually... <laughs> when I talked about Madagascar. <laughs> Honestly, though. Well, guys, if you like this video, make sure you lick it. Rehydrate it with your tongue. You can also go to our link tree to find all of our Twitter accounts, our Discord, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff there. Our merch store is even on there. You can buy clothes. Yeah, you can <laughs> buy a brand shirt or my shirt, which you can't really tell because my hair was in the way of it. <laughs> you can buy my shirt, but you can't buy my prize 2009 Chevy Impala. Exactly. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Have a day.